This is Duke University. On a hazy night in July 2008, under a full moon, a video camera in the Duke University forest caught a spectacular burst of lightning 200 miles away. What we saw was a discharge coming out of the thunderclouds that started at about 50,000 feet and then went up and kept going up and kept going up and really doesn't run out of gas until it reaches the very lower edge of space at about 50 miles high. A gigantic jet is really like upside down lightning that starts in the thundercloud and goes up and up and up and discharges to the edge of space. Regular lightning strokes, when they make a connection to ground, that essentially grounds the thundercloud and there's a lot of electric charge and electric current that then gets pushed from the thundercloud onto the ground. Uh, what appears to be happening in gigantic jets, which we now know from our measurements, is that it's the exact same thing except upside down, that the gigantic jet is making an electrical contact to the ionosphere at the edge of space. So it's, yeah, really injecting all of this electric charge from the thundercloud up into space, basically. What we would really, really like to do, and it's going to take some luck to do it, is uh, to manage to capture one of these guys in our high-speed camera so that we can actually time resolve that development that happens really quickly with a regular speed camera. No one's ever seen that, so nobody knows actually how these things, how fast they move, how that brightness moves up from the thundercloud to the very tops. Um, that would be a real triumph if we got one of those. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.